Hey, good morning. We're here in Newbury in Berkshire, uh, down in the south of England at the moment. We're here today at somewhere called the Ugly Duckling, and this is a pottery painting centre. So you come here and pickle your pickle your pottery painting things, paint them up, and then uh, they'll fire them in the kiln. Um, just before we get started, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we post some videos. Um, but yeah, let's go. So we've got, um, like I said, we're here, we're doing the pottery painting today, me and Becky. We've gone and picked what we would like to paint and they've got a pretty good social distancing situation in here. They've got a one-way system throughout the entire building. The staff are wearing masks and they've got screens up in front of the tills and everything as well. All the tables are socially distanced so we've been here before and it looks like they've taken out a few tables to give everybody a little bit more space. Uh, everything on the tables has been sanitised. We actually managed to get a table outside in the courtyard so we've, it's not pretty but it is uh, it is socially distanced completely, you know, we, there's no way we, <laughs> we're going to be interacting with guests or anything like that. So what I'll do, I'll show you the inside, I'll show you the layout, and I'll show you a selection of some of the things that you can get. They've also got teas, coffees, smoothies, cakes and ice creams and that kind of thing. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It seems so far they've got the operations pretty good and um, let's do some painting. I'll give you guys updates um, throughout and let you know how it goes. Alright so as I said before these are the selections that you've got and some of the prices really. So Becky's gone for this plate down here and I've gone for the yarn bowl up here and see my design's probably going to be quite similar to that. So you've got quite a good uh, selection of items that you can choose from. Some of them are really cheap as well. Got little stencils that you can have, larger brushes, things like that. They do have a membership program here as well, so you can get a discount on certain items. All right, so we've also got shields up in front of everything as well. Here's some of the cake selections that you can have. It's all very reasonably priced and then the ice creams pick and mixes and we got some bottled and canned drinks out the back as well so it's a very good system that they've got in place and some of the tables are marked off as being unavailable Alright, so as I mentioned before, you can get a selection of teas and coffees and ice creams and that kind of thing. So we've got a latte, we've got a hot chocolate, a gluten-free brownie, and Becky's already taken a bite of her millionaire shortbread. Um, the kind of layout that you've got, you've got a paint swatch here. And so these are the colours that it'll be after three applications and once it's been fired. You've got all of the paint brushes on the table, ready for you and everything. They give you a good... Um, they give you an area where you can put all the paints into, as well as, a, as well as something to clean your brushes. And here's all of the different paints that you've got. They've also got here a top tips list, so as I mentioned, free coats and that's how these colours will come out. Um, keep going because the paint dries quickly, don't wet your pottery, things like that. 
and um, you can use pencils on it because that burns off. And then here is the selection for the coffees and hot chocolates and things like that. So they're actually quite reasonably priced considering they've pretty much got you inside and you know you can't go anywhere at that point, you're not going to be bringing in outside things. And the milkshakes sound pretty appetizing so we might have to get a milkshake at some point. Bubble gum and candy floss, I don't know how I feel about those two but the raspberry ripple one sounds quite quite appealing we do have we do have face masks as well for when we when we do go inside um, so we will be wearing that as a precaution when we go inside like I said all the staff are wearing them and um, it's encouraged by the guests and things like that okay so we're 15 minutes in at this point we've got a two-hour slot here we're in at 11:30 till 1:30. Um, with how busy it is in here I'm not sure if we maybe could have came in 15 minutes early and we probably would have been alright but I think they're staggering the time slots so that they've got time to sanitize everything and clean um, you've got a whole selection of paintbrushes and things like that on the table to choose from so I've gone for a yarn bowl for Becky she's uh, very much into knitting at the moment so doing her a yarn bowl so she can organize all her wool and everything and as I said with the selection I started with this paintbrush but the bowl is pretty big obviously we're going for the we're actually going to go for a Rapunzel themed yarn bowl here but the paintbrush was taking ages to cover the coat as I said at the beginning you got to do three coats to make it worthwhile but I found this so we're going to use we're using this to sort of sponge dab everything and that has been much quicker I've pretty much done a whole coat in one minute the other one took me 10 minutes to do one coat so I think it's choosing your battles choosing your battles make sure you choose your choose your fighters wisely and get the right paintbrush for it Becky's doing kind of a Disney themed plate as a whole and she's doing pretty good so far she's got each each section here painted out and uh, she actually bought a design with her because that's the thing that takes the most time is coming up with a coming up with a design majority of the time um, so I'll give you a few more updates throughout obviously as I said you can section out your paints here uh, but it's going well so far 15 minutes in we got another hour and 45 to go as I said before we've got the courtyard area so They've set up a little table for two out here, uh, which is effectively extra socially distant from everybody else. But it's not the prettiest, but it's a, it's a good area to be. We've got um, church behind us, and there's, we've actually got the graveyard, the cemetery, just up these stairs. So it's pretty cool. This is progress on my yarn bowl. And this is the progress on Becky's plate. And as I said before, it's a Disney themed. It's actually Disney princess themed. So she's doing a pretty good job there. I'll give you guys a progress update. So I've pretty much completed the sort of interior painting of mine. I've got to do one more layer on the outside. And as I said before, I've got the stamper. So everything's going pretty quick on this. Um, Becky's doing pretty good on her Disney Princess plate. Um, the apple didn't quite come out as she anticipated, but the rest of it's, um, especially this, I think that's that's come out pretty well. Um, so they've got these little fine liner pipette things that you can, you can use. So that'll give you the opportunity to create things like that, because obviously paintbrushes won't be able to do that. Um, and as I said before, he, his, all of the colors how they come out after free coatings so this interior has had free coatings at this point and I think I've done two one thing to note about the courtyard is we do have loads of little bits and pieces falling on us and I've had a few go in the bowl that I've kind of painted over which is a bit awkward but um, yeah it's all coming off that tree but we're we're completely socially distanced here so I'll take that over 
being inside any time at the moment really. We're 1.5 hours in at this point and I think this is unheard of for us but I think we're finished. We normally take longer than we anticipate and we've got to go or something like that because we've got something else planned but hopefully I'm done. My design changed a little bit as I went through. I was going to do like uh, Rapunzel's lantern and things like that and then Becky pointed out to me that I'd done the colours kind of wrong so what can you do? Um, so I ended up going with this. I've got a spiral in the centre and then the gold trim around the outside and I've got a load of little dots over the outside so when this comes out it'll all sort of blend a little bit better in together so that should be good. As I said with Becky she's gone for the Disney princess knocking things over so we got Beauty and the Beast, Pocahontas, Ariel, Cinderella, Rapunzel, Tiana, Snow White, Merida, and we got Moana in the middle. So seeing as I got all of that without making any mistakes on who the princesses were, I think she's done a really good job. Uh, so it's pretty good. Um, we've used loads of paint. They've told us to keep them all on our table uh, because they're going to sanitise all of them afterwards. And um, yeah, I think it's gone. I think it's gone pretty well. So we've just finished in the Ugly Duckling, the pottery painting here in Newbury, Berkshire. Pretty good, pretty good impressions overall. Very happy with the setup in there. They, as you saw, they had one-way systems. They had a couple of tables that were marked as unavailable. So uh, if they weren't able to take it out, because they haven't got a great deal of space there, um, they'd marked them as unavailable so people can't sit there. You've got a booking system. You can just walk up. And one thing we just saw, uh, if you've booked, they've obviously got your details anyway. Um, but if you do just walk in, they do what's effectively a track and trace system. So they'll take your name, details. So if anything does happen, you know, God forbid, they've got all your details to contact you if necessary. The, like I said, the systems that they have in place are really good. It's a fantastic system. We spent probably, I know my bowl was 15 99 my yard bowl, uh, yarn bowl, sorry. Becky's plate was 12 pound or so. I think the total we ended up spending was about 35 to 40 pound in total. We had a couple of drinks, cakes, so that's pretty reasonable good day out and honestly like come and check this out you know we need to be supporting the independent retailers independent establishments right now because ultimately they haven't got a big company backing them and the people that are working in there they were fantastic they all had masks on they're all wearing them properly as well right up above their nose and yeah I'm gonna say it again I was very very impressed with what they were doing so come out and support them. This is the Ugly Duckling in Newbury. There are a number of these places. It's really good for really good for children because it keeps them occupied for you know two two and a half hours or so, and it doesn't make your living room or your kitchen a mess. Make that place as much of a mess as you want because they're going to clear it up and you don't have to sort it out after. Um, go along and support them. We've got to pick the items up in seven days that's the turnaround time at the moment they've obviously got to fire them in the kiln and everything what you're going to see next is going to be fast forwarded to seven days just before i do my outro which i'll do my outro now but i'll pick pictures in of what we've what we've done so um hopefully fingers crossed obviously i don't know what these look like so hopefully they look cool so i'll put these in now picked up our pottery painting things. This is the first reveal. We've got our bag here. First piece we've got is the yarn bowl. So pretty good. Uh, one week later, seven days to seven days to fire it. And they've wrapped it in newspaper as well. There we go. Didn't paint the bottom, probably should have painted the bottom. But it's quite good. 
you see it's a little bit uh, patchy kind of around the outside where we were doing the like the sponge motion on it and a little bit around the bottom but pretty cool the second one we've got is Becky's bowl uh, Becky's plate there we go This is her Disney princess themed plate. So we go back around it again. We've got Belle, Merida, Snow White, Tiana, Rapunzel, Cinderella, Ariel, Pocahontas, and Moana. So that's pretty cool. Again, the bottom isn't plated, uh, isn't painted. But since it's been fired, it's got like a smooth gloss finish now, as opposed to the matte finish that it had before. And yeah, they've turned out pretty good overall. I'm quite, quite impressed with them. Total cost, like I said, was like £40 with everything in. The plate was £10.99. I think the yarn bowl was £15.99. And that includes tax over here in the UK, VAT is included. So pretty cool. And I'll just give you a little bit of a better close-up of it. Not bad. So let us know down in the comments what you think, what we could improve, and whether this is something that you guys would be interested in doing. Fingers crossed they're good. Uh, if you've enjoyed this and if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, we're going to be traveling around a little bit. We've got a few trips planned and things to do. So thanks for watching along. Hit the thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we post new videos. See you on the other side. Thanks.